What is Git Rebase? Git Rebase rewrites commits from one branch onto another branch. And it's a useful alternative to merging because it gives us a cleaner repo history. And a cleaner history can help us troubleshoot bugs faster, for example, by using the git log or git bisect commands. Let's first see how to rebase here in the CLI, and then we'll show you how to rebase with the git crack and git GUI. OK, so to demonstrate, let's perform a git branch to review the local branches I have for this example repo. OK, here you see I have a production branch, dev branch, and a feature branch. And you'll also note that the feature branch is checked out thanks to this asterisk symbol here. But if your feature branch is not checked out, you can just use the git checkout command. All right, let's take a look at the most recent commits on this feature branch by performing a git log, followed by, we'll do dash two, to look at the two most recent commits. All right, so it opens up a new dialog, and this commit named additional sentence structure changes is where the feature branch originally branched off of, which will change when we rebase. So take note, we're going to come back to this, and for now, we're going to hit Q to exit the git log. All right, I'm ready to finish my feature branch. And normally, I would use the git merge command to get the changes from the feature branch over onto dev. But this is the rebase video. So let's use git rebase, followed by the name of the target branch, which in this case is dev. All right, and with that, this rebase is complete. Git has rewritten the commits from our feature branch onto the most recent commit onto the dev branch, but let me prove it by performing a git log. And yes, we now see that we have a different base commit before this said additional sentence structure changes. This clearly does not say that, so the rebase went through just as expected. All right, so let's see how this works in Git Kraken. So remember how we had to run git log to see what was going on with the command line? Well, Git Kraken visualizes the commit history for us with the commit graph. So we have an immediate snapshot to understand what's going on with the branches we wish to rebase. All right, so here we have a feature branch with changes we wish to get into dev. To perform a rebase, all you need to do is drag and drop the branch, the feature branch, onto dev, and then click the option to rebase from the context menu. And just like that, the rebase is complete. And you can see the commits beautifully recreated on top of the dev branch. It's the reassurance that we rebased exactly how we wanted to rebase. Now, alternatively, if you already have the feature branch checked out, you can just right click the branch you wish to rebase on top of, and then select the rebase option from the context menu instead. You'll get the same result. Although rebasing rewrites commit history, it's much easier to read a graph when your repo isn't littered with merge commits, and it looks nice and linear like this. And with Git Kraken, you can rebase with confidence without running the extra commands to double check your commit history. All right, if you like this video, then check out other videos in this series, and we'll catch you in the next lesson.